welcome to another episode of Benji Kim Fishing. I want to thank you guys so much for your support and I hope you guys all had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Today I'll be sharing with you two things. The first is going to be the Carolina rig that I use for light line surf fishing and number two it's going to be a big spot fin croaker that I was able to catch earlier in 2019. So let's just jump right into it. For light line surf fishing, I use the Carolina rig. It's a really basic setup that most of you already know, but it's more geared for some of you who are watching who don't know where to start or are brand new to this and aren't sure if you're doing it the right way. So the setup that I like to use uh, for light line surf fishing, I use a six pound top shot. So I've been using the R18. It's a Seaguar fluorocarbon. Um, it's not available in the United States. I actually get this off of Amazon, but it's from Japan. And it's very similar to actually what I use for my leader line, which is the Seaguar Tatsu. And this is uh, Seaguar's kind of flagship fluorocarbon. It is pricier. Don't feel like you have to use uh, top of the line stuff. I just use it just because it makes me feel better. And I've got this bad habit of anytime I have a bad day or I skunk, I just go out there and buy better equipment. Uh, makes me feel like I can do better next time. It's not necessarily the case, but this is just what I like to use and it's worked out for me. But the reason why I like to use the R18 as a top shot is because it is a fluorocarbon. It's actually very abrasion resistant. And what I like most about it is it does have uh, a good amount of stretch, which fluorocarbon typically doesn't, do, doesn't have. So a lot of light line guys, if they're tying their leader straight on from braid, um, we'll use a mo monofilament shock leader to kind of give them that extra stretch um, when you're hooking a big fish because when you get a big fish on the line you set the hook if there's not enough stretch on that line um, you'll get cut off pretty easily um, so I like using the fluorocarbon this fluorocarbon because it does provide that stretch of mono but still have the same qualities of uh, fluorocarbon so it's worked out for me really well um, Cross my fingers, I haven't lost a big fish yet on this particular setup, so I'm gonna keep sticking with it. So the Carolina rig is a super basic setup, really easy, so I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick. Typically gonna use um, an egg sinker like this, anywhere from 3 eighths to 3 quarters. This is a, a half ounce egg, and you're gonna pair that up with um, either a clear glass bead or an orange bead just like that. Doesn't really matter. Um, some people say the orange bead mimics um, sand crab eggs and will kind of attract more bites. For me, I haven't seen a difference personally. So you can use either one of these, whichever one gives you more confidence. That's probably the most important thing. And I use a size 12 barrel swivel. And the hook I use, um, these are the hooks I use for light line surf fishing on the Carolina rig. Um, it's owner mosquito hooks. Um, I like to use the size eight. They are very small. But for me, when you're chasing big Corbina that are super line shy and very wary of their surroundings, um, the smaller hook size does matter in my opinion. So size eight owner mosquito hooks. That's the, that's the basic terminal tackle that I like to use. So setting up the Carolina rig is super easy. I'm just gonna show you real quick. You're gonna get the egg sinker first and put it onto your top shot or your main line. Just slide it right on there. And then you're gonna follow that up with the bead. I'm gonna use the orange one. So we just go ahead and slide the orange Bead over it. So what it's going to look like is um, you put the egg sinker in first, followed by the bead, and then we're going to put the barrel swivel on. So the two knots I like to use when tying this setup for me, and again, this has worked very well for me. It's the improved clinch knot from the main line or top shot to the barrel swivel, and I use the improved clinch knot to tie this side of the leader line, and then I'll tie my hook on with the Palomar knot. So I use the improved clinch knot to tie the main line to the size 12 barrel swivel. And uh, I'm not gonna detail how I tie the knot. I may, might make some more videos on that in the future, but just so you know what I'm doing, um, use, um, that's, this is how I tie onto the swivel. And then what I do is I'll get my four pound leader. I use this, uh, the Tatsu four pound fluoro. And I use about uh, anywhere from 15 to 18 um, if the water is super calm maybe 21 to 24 inches at most for um, the leader line and I'm gonna go ahead and use the improved clinch knot to tie the leader leader to the barrel swivel so just tie the improved clinch knot onto the other end of the swivel um, and make sure you use the improved clinch knot there's not just the regular clinch knot um, the regular clinch knot is what I grew up tying um, as a kid and again, no one really showed me anything as a kid and I just didn't know any better. 
uh, but the improved clinch the improved clinch knot definitely keeps it from slipping so that made the world world of a difference even a couple of years ago I was just using the regular clinch knot and I was uh, breaking off quite often so make sure you use the improved clinch knot um, so I use the improved clinch knot on both ends of the barrel swivel and then now we're going to get the size 8 owner mosquito hook and we're going to use the palomar knot to tie it onto the end and then we'll be finished. Alright so we went ahead and tied on uh, the hook with, a, um, with the palomar knot. Super simple knot. Um, it's my favorite knot to tie. Um, some say don't use uh, the palomar knot on fluorocarbon um, because it kind of stresses out the, um, the fluorocarbon will kind of cut through the knot. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. It's worked out for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep on using it. But when you're done with it, it should look something like this. Um, you should have um, the egg sinker, your bead, followed by the barrel swivel, and then your leader. Um, and I have about, you know, I made it shorter just for um, video purposes. Um, but your leader line, and then your hook. So that's going to be your standard Carolina rig on light line for surf fishing. It's a very standard um, setup, but again, just wanted to show you guys, um, for those of you guys that are starting out, um, exactly what I'm doing in my videos when I'm catching um, some of the fish I'm able to catch. So I hope you find that helpful. Um, I want to share this uh, spot fin croaker that I was able to catch early in the summer using this exact same setup and sand crabs for bait. Um, ended up being about 19 inches. It was a good size um, spot fin croaker. Uh, spot fin croaker are super fat. They're very wide and broad shouldered. So even this 19 inch, um, when I landed him, he looked so much bigger, um, especially on four pound test. Um, super stoked to share this video with you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. Tight lines. Got one guys, spot bin. The one we're waiting for guys, been sight fishing this guy for a minute. That's it? He's fat, huh? Yeah. He's like a <laughs>